God of War 3 music production plan is pretty extensive. Today we're working at Skywalker Sound in Marin County. We're working with the San Francisco-based musicians from the San Francisco Symphony, the San Francisco Opera, who are phenomenal. We're really fortunate to be working with legendary engineer Leslie Ann Jones. Tim Davies has orchestrated everything and he's conducting from the podium. That's pretty sweet. He really knows the music and he really puts his all into interpreting what the composers are after. Really pointed, give me that nice pop on the end of each group. Here it is. Beautiful, thank you. The music originally comes in from the composer in what we call a mock-up, which is basically, he's using his synthesizers and samplers, and you know, we call them fake strings, fake brass, fake choir, to assemble the composition. And then once it's approved, it comes to me to translate that and put it on paper for the orchestra. It's damn expensive to have an orchestra sitting there, so my job is to make sure that everything's spotless on the page in their language. When dealing with an orchestra as a conductor, I think 75% of it is your rapport and how you can interact with the musicians, getting them to do what you want in a highly stressful situation, making it lighthearted enough that no one freaks out, but you gotta keep it moving. Give me everything you've got on those crescendos at the end of each phrase. Here it is. They're a pack and they, they need a leader and they're all brilliant musicians, but there's something about when you put an orchestra together, they need that focal point, that one person that they follow. These are pretty nasty swells where you got the flutters and everything. Feel free if it's gonna be smoother to hit the note and then start the flutter later. Okay, here we go. They can smell when you walk into the room if you can do it and if they're gonna go with you. I've been lucky that, you know, they like me and I've been here a lot to the ranch to conduct. And you know, it works really well and they're a great orchestra. Originally on God of War 1, we had several composers, many of whom have remained with us through the God of War series. And the reason for this is not because one composer wouldn't necessarily be able to compose the whole score. It's because the variety that their different styles bring to the table is actually a tremendous advantage. Why are there five composers on this collection? Well, that's a question, that's a uh, question for somebody else who did the hiring, because I'm sure that uh, any one of us would be quite happy to bump the other ones off and do it all by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and a different alternate to that answer is. <laughs> uh, the reason being is because each one of us actually have a very strong voice in how we write and approach music. Um, but generally speaking, we don't clash in styles, and therefore what, what, what ends up happening is a happy salad of the different styles that we all bring to the game, but uh, essentially we actually work very well together as a team. Sitting with Stig and sitting with the, the whole Sony crew who have such, they have this thing in their minds called God of War. It's, the, it's an entire uh, world. It goes beyond just characters. It's, the, it's, it's a whole, they know how they want everybody, how the, they want the players to feel. I think what ties my music and your music and everybody else's music in is the fact that the great people at Sony, from Stig and down, is they know when it's wrong and they know when it's right. And even though we haven't heard each other's music, it ties together amazingly just because it's run through this filter and the filter is God of War. Right. One of the great things about scoring for video games as opposed to film is that there's a tremendous amount of freedom. I'm not constrained whatsoever by any convention at all because uh, I think a video game is not a film. And since we're not restrained by anything that's happening at any particular point in time, it's, it's quite a free world to actually uh, envision what you want to write and see it through to the end. The music actually is not only on a par with film, but in some ways surpasses most films. There's almost a requirement certainly an expectation that there be experimentation and innovation in video games, that the music is somehow striving to do something new and something really fresh and powerful, which isn't always the case in film. When it comes to raw power, I mean, this, is, this actually goes to another level than most films. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have to write music that must exist and take care of the atmosphere that you're in and add to the intensity of the battles that you're in. It's kind of carte blanche. We get to write these amazing 
sounding scores and have it backed by 40 plus piece string section, 20 plus piece brass sections, the sky's the limit. We use a oversized brass section, so it's double the size of a normal standard orchestral brass section, just to give us this massive power and this huge low end. Guys that play low instruments, all they want to do is play low, and so we give them that opportunity. You get to unleash and not hold back, because the game never holds back, never. I talked to the orchestra and I said, if you have any moment that you have all of a sudden a feeling of lyrical beauty coming your way, ignore that completely and just go for the brutal, brutish, aggressive mentality of this score and you'll never go wrong. That's hugely fun. Yeah. And it's so much more fun to write bad music than to write, you know, good music. <laughs> this is one of those games that actually lets you go all the way to the end of how big could it be, how nasty could it be. And it's great to do that. Of course, at the end of it, you just want to do a romantic comedy with some clarinets and... <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. At least as composers, we're being hired to do what we do, which is write melodic material, uh, aggressive, edgy material that people remember. Think about when we went to go see your favorite movie as a kid, and you, you walk out humming the theme, and you want to buy the soundtrack because it's such a great part of the experience, and that's what we're and trying to do. Is to get people to buy the soundtrack to God's yeah. Love 3. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. You, it's a good point. We did just go down to the to the studio and we saw yeah. where the game's at and the game, uh, as you probably have just played through to unlock this video, is amazing. <laughs>